Here's perfect for it. Yeah, yeah we nice. had just a gorgeous weekend on tap. Uh, lots of sunshine. Temperatures felt nice, mm -hmm. especially along the coast. Yeah. The beach weather. Uh, but we are still kind of dealing with some fire conditions out there. So we've got some strong winds uh, still in effect, and we're going to continue with some advisories, some warnings. We do have critical fire conditions uh, still out there for the next uh, couple of days until tomorrow morning. So here's a look right now over downtown. An abundance of sunshine, a whole lot of blue sky. Uh, really behind that backdrop there of uh, downtown Los Angeles. Right now, temperatures are starting to cool off ever so slightly. We're still in the 90s, though, for the Inland Empire. 88 degrees for Ontario and along the coast. We're still holding on to temperatures into the 70s. We do have a red flag warning. That's in effect until about uh, 6 o'clock in the morning for your Monday. So we're going to see extremely gusty winds. We have humidities dropping between 10 to 20 percent and a very dry fuel out there. So this will be in effect for for uh, the mountains, for the high desert communities, and for some of the inland valleys as well. We also have a wind advisory that's in effect with winds, sustained winds, getting up to 30 miles an hour in some of the windiest locations. Gusts could actually peak at about 50 miles an hour. Right now, we're watching those winds. You can see some of the strongest winds through the high desert community, Lancaster 24, Apple Valley about 19, and Riverside right now is starting to see some winds pick up, as well as Long Beach. So you might notice a little bit of breeze along the coast as well. Overnight, we're going to see temperature dipping down to about 64 degrees, low clouds and fog expected, and we're going to see those winds up to about 15 miles an hour for downtown. We do have a low pressure system that's kind of dipping southward. As it does so, it's kind of tightening these pressure gradients, creating windy conditions, and we're going to see that wind really stick around until tomorrow morning. With that, we also have gale force winds as well, so you'll notice it over the ocean. And because of that, we've actually seen uh, coastal eddies starting to build up. So we're going to see uh, overnight tonight low clouds and fog uh, to start your morning off on your Monday. So a little bit more than what we saw today. We're going to continue to see a cloudy conditions for tomorrow morning. So for highs tomorrow, looks like we're going to top out close to 90 degrees, not quite there for Northridge, for San Fernando, 87 degrees through the Santa Clarita Valley. And we're going to keep it once again in the 70s along the coast, 80 degrees, really comfortable in downtown Los Angeles for tomorrow. Along the coast from Newport down into Dana Point, looks like we'll see a low to mid 70s, popping up to about 82 degrees, really nice in Anaheim as well tomorrow. Some of the warmer spots, Palm Springs, 105, up and through the high desert communities, we're going to stay into the 90s. Here's your extended forecast. Partly cloudy conditions expected uh, throughout the work week. It looks like we're going to see lots of sunshine, especially in towards the afternoon and a little bit of a slight warming trend. So you see by about Wednesday and Thursday, we bring those temperatures up. In fact, valley locations look like they're going to climb into the mid 90s for the Inland Empire, upper 80s tomorrow. Then we warm up into the mid to upper 90s by midweek. And for the high desert communities, by midweek, we get up to triple digits. Back